Browns on offense all double digit games and they've got the ball in the red zone first down and 10. Hand off to Chubb and this time the Falcons were ready for it and the Browns are going to go quickly. Falcons were trying to substitute it won't happen third down Chubb running right stops at the five and taken down there. So to him he sees the play he reads it and shoots outside the gap right where Nick Chubb was heading. Nothing Nick Chubb can do there. The Browns are keeping the offense on the field. They do not need. Play clock at two. Brissett from the shotgun. Looking left. Nobody there. Brissett with time. Now scrambling right. Brissett trying to buy time. Throws to the end zone and throws it away. And the Browns come up empty. You down. They have a great offensive front, as we talked about with Antonio and Posick. Play flicker. Brissett takes the check down with a flag down. Njoku has some room to run. Lost the football. The ball came out, and Rashawn Evans recovers it. Remember, there is a penalty down on the play. Jalen Hawkins forced the fumble, but this has to be sorted out. Yeah, well, the Cleveland Browns offensive line walking off the field. Offense number 71. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is a fumble. First down Atlanta. Cleveland offense this year. As we look at this, you see the hold on Jedrick Wills. Njoku. Jalen Hawkins got his head directly on that football. This is why you got to be high up there. 101 yards and a touchdown to the number each of the last two weeks. Here's Kareem Hunt, and he gets a couple. And so Jacoby Brissett when you're not at work. Jacoby also said Amari stays longer than him sometimes. Percet comes back and throws incomplete. Intended for Harrison Bryant, who was looking for a penalty and with Kareem Hunt at running back. Well, it looks like you got man coverage up here. Give to Hunt. And Hunt is tackled. Amari Cooper at the top of your screen. Brissett, play action, looking for Cooper. It's not there. Brissett now throws it away as the pressure was coming from Taquan Graham here in Atlanta. Browns have the ball back with 6.31 to go. Here's Chubb. And Chubb able to get one on the play. Empty set for Brissett. On the move, throws, and that one's caught by Harrison Bryant. Here's Chubb. And cut down at the 35. Nick Chubb has so many things in his arsenal. Here's Nichoku. And that doesn't work. D'Angelo Malone, the rookie out of Western Kentucky. Not sure I love trick plays to tight ends. <laughs> Just saying. Good job. Last week against Pittsburgh. He was just lined up as a tailback. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to Chubb. Trying to push his way forward. Football came out late. Ball is out. The Falcons have recovered. There, let's take another look at this. Inside dive, quick dive. Yeah, he, he was stopped. I think that's the right call. You can't challenge for on. Chubb is in there at running back on second and goal. Keep an eye on that guy. Brissett to the air. Rolling right. Flag is down. Brissett throws and it's incomplete. Richie Grant. Holding. Offense, number 77. It's a 10 yard penalty. Still second down. Play clock at two. Brissett takes the snap. Gets it to Hunt. Incomplete. Pressure was coming. It was Arnold Ebikati. The wide receiver, running back being a wide receiver in the tight slot. If Amari Cooper at the bottom of your screen, matched up with A.J. Terrell. Brissett looking for Cooper. Corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Terrell was right there. Tough throw. For Jacoby Brissett. This wasn't a not nearly enough room. Even if he does, the likelihood of him coming down and bounds is very, very small. 
So Cade York has third down and three. Cleveland three for seven on third downs in the first half. Hunt at running back. Brissett under center. A give to Hunt. And Kareem Hunt is not going to get there. Six to go third quarter. Still tied at 10. First and 10 for the Browns at the 37. Start this drive on the ground with Chubb. And Chubb nudges forward for to run the ball since Cordero Patterson's touchdown in the first quarter. Second down and eight. Bursette for Cooper. Incomplete. And once again, A.J. Terrell had good coverage for the Falcons. Struggled a lot, but here he is matched up one-on-one -on -one with Amari Cooper. Keeps his feet shuffling and moving. Play clock at two. Brissett pump fakes, now throws, and it's incomplete. Nearly intercepted by Casey Hay. Three and out. Almost a great catch there. Intercepts it as well, but Jacoby Brissett takes a big shot from Lorenzo Carter just as he lets that ball go. The girls watched practice and got to meet the team on Saturday. First and ten for the Browns. Brissett nowhere to go. And he's off to the races, trying to get to the sideline, runs out of bounds at the 41. As he told us last night, he doesn't think Njoku gets enough credit for his blocking. That's right. Brissett swings at the chuck. Two Falcons in front of him, and he cannot get away. Find and when you meet with him, you can tell he's a very chill guy. That one is knocked down. Incomplete. Nimbing brings up the bypasses. The blocking assignment there on Rashawn Evans. It's an immediate indicator that the screen is coming. Lorenzo Carter wrecked about a 50 yard field goal. Percent. And that pass is caught by Peoples Jones, but he's short of a first down. Back up so you can throw it down to the check down. Brown's going no huddle. Chubb wrestles through. Play fake. Bursette on the move. Throws. And he's got Bryant, who's tackled immediately by Rashawn Evans. Adulation because of their athleticism. But Dredgick Wills is pretty athletic as well. Right back to Chubb. And Chubb tripped up as he crosses the 40. Another play fake. Bursette. And he throws this one away. Pressure was coming from Arnold Ebikati. They were going to hand it off to Kareem Hunt. It's a good play freak, but Arnold Ebikati was right there. Let's watch this a little bit. Hit a little bit up there near the head. But... Play clock down to two. It's Hunt around the left side. And Hunt. Is tackled at the 40 side. Four minutes to play. Percent incomplete. Looking for Harrison Bryant. And now it's decision time. Percent throwing on first down. And he throws it down to the ground as the pressure was coming. Grady Jarrett. We haven't called his name much today, Tiki, but he was applying the pressure. Brissett incomplete. Amari Cooper went to the ground. He's looking for a penalty, but no call, and it's second and ten. Right up in his face. Second and ten. Brissett trying to set up the screen. He locates Hunt, and Hunt is cut from behind with a flag flying in. Ineligible man downfield. Offense number 75. It's a five-yard penalty replay. Second down. You can see him. Joe Batonio here, he gets out, he just, he's, I mean, he's five yards deep before the ball's even thrown. If you're in range, now it's a 64-yard attempt. Percent in trouble, and he is sacked! Grady Jarrett brings him down! We talked about that. A loss of eight on the play. Percent. Fires and it's intercepted. Picked off by D. Alford.
73-year-old Dean Pease, the defensive coordinator, is all fired up. Exception. Yeah, this was a massive shell. The linebackers are 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. You got dime personnel in. That's Alford's in the game. Very poor decision.